Today we're taking a look at a new soldering iron. Now this is pretty much exactly the same as my old one, except this one has the little LCD screen on it that tells you the temperature. So I'm hoping that this actually works pretty well. It was only 60 bucks. It's called the Yahoo 937D. And this is, it says 220, but it comes with an American plug, so hopefully it works. It comes with a bunch of accessories. Let's get it open and take a look. <laughs> so here inside the box, we have the instruction manual. The first half of it is in Japanese or Chinese, and then the second half is in English. So you got a good chance of getting, being able to read it. Let's see, it comes with a spare heating element. Here's the actual soldering iron itself. And I think it also comes with, yeah, comes with four different tips on here. Now the ones that I like to use are usually these ones that are a little bit larger, like this one here, just because I like that kind of soldering iron tip and also like the, the larger little pointy one there. These smaller ones, they're good if you're doing smaller stuff, but on most quad stuff, the bigger ones, you know, at least for me anyway, do a lot better. So. Here's the soldering iron itself, and it, like I said before, it has the American plug on here, or the US plug. Oh yeah, good, and it's decently heavy too. Yeah, this looks a lot like my old one, <laughs> except, like I said, it's a digital one. That's probably what the D means, and the switch is even on the same side. Good. Uh, it, it also came with some extra solder, and this is .5 millimeter stuff. This is really thin, so it, it probably melt real easy. Which is okay, I guess, but I just, I've been used to uh, a little bit thicker stuff. Here's the actual soldering iron holder. And one thing I've done with these on, in the past is I've taken these and I've just hot glued it to the top of my soldering iron, or the soldering iron uh, itself. That way it's always there and I can just easily put this in and out and it's easy to pick up and carry with me. I just put hot glue along the sides. I'll probably end up doing that on this one here as well. Uh, it also comes with the soldering iron uh, tip cleaner. There we go. And it, just a little bit of copper inside there and you just rub the tip around there and it gets it all cleaned off. Underneath this copper stuff here is some rosin. I didn't notice this initially, but this is, you wanna get your tip real hot, stick it down in here and it just melts this a little bit and that rosin really gets the tip cleaned off and then you run it through this uh, copper stuff a few times and it'll get you know brand new looking it's really nice I and mean, it's kind of cool they have it inside there with this I didn't realize that little plug adapter which I'll never use and a couple other little bits of information all right let me get this thing plugged in and we'll see how fast it can melt this solder and I'll also try some other solder too so we can see how it actually works here I have it plugged in now and if I turn this on hopefully it works Oh yeah, 200. Okay, I have no idea what it's supposed to be set to for, for melting solder, but we'll find out soon. Because my other one didn't have, really have the temperature gauge. So here's the solder that it comes with the 0.5 millimeter, and this is the one millimeter stuff I'd been, I've been using. Now the one millimeter has been working real well for me with quadcopter soldering, but if you're doing a little bit finer soldering, then the 0.5 stuff will probably work as well. This has, um, it's not lead, or maybe it is lead, I'm not sure, but it has the rosin inside, so like I said, it does real well on quads, so we'll see about this. The soldering iron seems to be heating up pretty quick. I mean, it's bouncing up and down <laughs> quite a bit, you know, 10, 15, 20 degrees, but it's uh, definitely going up, so let's see if we turn this. Oh yeah, it goes up higher. 200 is the lowest all the way down, and if we turn it all the way to the right, it goes up to 480. So, I don't have a thermostat, or I could check that see if it was actually right. We'll set it at 200 and we'll see if it can melt solder. Well, it wouldn't melt solder at 200, so I set up to 250, and it is definitely melting solder now. This is a little small tip. These things are hard to use, <laughs> and especially when you have decent side like this decent sized ESC pads and stuff like that. I like the larger ones because they get a little bit more heat out into the end so that it makes it a little bit easier to um, melt the solder and make stuff stick together. Anyway, I'm kind of kind of looking forward to having this um, LCD screen because a lot of the time I end up walking out of the room, I think it's definitely melting it, walk out of the room with it on and this little light only comes on when it's actually heating and then when, it, when the light turns off you know that it's heated up. So, I don't ever notice it when I walk out of the room and I end up leaving it on overnight quite a few times, which is probably why it broke. But, so hopefully with this one, it'll be a little bit more obvious with the red lights up on the front all the time. Yeah, this is going to be nice. 
Cool. All right, well, that's good. I'm glad it's working. Now, to change these tips, you just have to unscrew this, and this thing slides off. Then this whole thing slides off, and then the tip is on there, and you just pull the tip off, put the other one on, and put it all back together. Of course, don't do it while it's hot. That would be bad. So this is the Yahoo 937D soldering iron. This came from Banggood. If you're interested in it, I'll have links down in the description. If you're looking for the kind of solder you should buy, this is the one I actually recommend. This is my fourth... Uh, spool of the solder that I've actually that I'm on now the uh, other three have served me well and so I hate to change when something works so well this like I said if you're doing some kind of finer soldering then you might be better off just using the stuff that came with it this 0.5 millimeter but I recommend this one millimeter stuff for quadcopters or anything that's a little bit larger sized any kind of electronics that you kind of messing with anyway if you have any questions about this leave it down in the comments I will try to help you out as best I can and as always thanks for watching Got it back, good. Mighty glad to fly.